dried very quickly. Okay, so that is the reason you enjoy sunny weather. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is money a kind of stressful part in your life? Do you ever feel like getting stressed related to money? Maybe uh, because of future or anything, anything that you can tell. Stressful thing about money. Uh, I, yes, I, I sometimes I can feel that uh, because uh, like. To, you have to earn money otherwise you can't survive you can't yes. uh, live your life well so that kind of pressure is always going on in every, uh, around me and so i think that to earn money at least to we have to uh, like you should have a stable income stable flow of income otherwise money will always pressurize you yes yes right and, and always think- always pick the bill Yeah, and I think this is quite natural in every human being. Even if you are fulfilled with lot of things, and even if you are not, so this is something really natural and also very good because thinking money on yourself, you are never dependent on somebody. Okay, I have some other source of income, or someone else is doing that for me, so I need not be stressful about money any time. So yeah, this is right. So, uh, what is the first job that you uh, have done, or any task, any job that you did uh, that you have ever received money for? Any job that you can share? Uh, yes, I can share that. Uh, my first job is I was posted in the hill station, Darjeeling, what? and in the NGO. I was posted. I got that job. In an NGO sector, okay, and that was the my first salary I got, and it was the my first it was my first income. Okay, and when I got this, and I was so I was overjoyed to receive this money because that made me laugh, that made me smile. Yes. Okay, so that was your first job that you had received. So, what would you do if you would found uh, if you found a brown paper bag with one thousand rupees in one of uh, one of the streams? Like, what you what would the be the first thought that would come to your mind? And secondly, what would you do then? One thousand rupees. Yes, in it on the street, one thousand one uh, brown paper bag with one thousand rupees. Yeah, just one thousand. Not more than that. We are not so greedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one thousand rupee. Yeah, it is good, fair enough. And as I got this, so like I will be considered as a as a lucky as a lucky person. Yes. And I will spend it on my like I am a great foodie, so I will spend it on my food, and okay. also I will save something, but. Okay. I will, I will spend it as a gift. I will spend it over eating. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right answer to be answered by a foodie. Like uh, this is something uh, that uh, we also ask. Like maybe sometimes it happened in our school when we had grown old, and in our college also. If the college people will ask money for something, okay, you everyone has to give fifteen hundred rupees for some kind of dress or some function that is related to college. We'll always have one word. Okay, it is better to have something very good from this fifteen hundred rupees rather than giving it to you. Yeah. So always that alternative that comes is related to food, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that true, is relatable true. to foodie people especially. So, uh, how do you feel after spending a large amount of money? Like, where do you specially are you the person who uh, is uh, good at uh, saving and you know expanding and uh, you know giving money and buying things? Are you good who, person who can save money also? Uh, Either than spending them. So, uh, how do you feel even after you have spent money? Do you feel like okay, that's shit, what has happened, and all those things? So you are like, okay, fine, I have earned it and I am spending it. What is the thought that comes after spending a large amount of money? Uh, after spending a large amount of money, if I spend it in a good way or I, if I invest it in something good, then I. Will be like I will be constant about that. I will be content. Otherwise, uh, if I spend it on 
for example i have wasted a lot of money in doing something then i must regret after spending this because actually i wouldn't to do that but somehow there was no option so i had to do so in this case i just i will i would definitely feel regret and so that day would be very bad for me okay. because i i because i will always thinking about that that why i spend this large of large amount of money in this field but i had no idea so that day would be quite bad okay yeah always uh, there are two uh, sides of a coin the same way there are two I mean, things that come to our mind whenever we are doing yeah. any any direction so yeah that yeah. is obvious yeah. and quite uh, sure about it so uh, when we are talking about money we are especially the youngsters of this generation so what is the importance yeah. of saving money and keeping this as a resource for your future or you know for yourself which is a kind of productive thing for you because saving money is very important like most of the people have very we have important. also seen the uh, importance of the money that is saved so what is the importance of money uh, saving money according to you especially for this generation hmm. that is youngsters absolutely i totally agree with you that we need to save money whatever we earn then 30% or 40% we have to save otherwise because uh, like if you had no money if you have no money for saving then it will become a very big problem when you have or when you are in emergency yes that you need a lot of money then you can't you have no clue but yeah saving is very important as as a youngster we need to save money yeah right okay so there is a very famous and a controversial statement that money can buy uh, happiness right most of the people agree to it and uh, they have different uh, kind of comments on it so what are your views on this uh, point or this comment that money can buy happiness is it true every time or uh, what do you think um, i think that money yeah definitely money can buy happiness money if you have enough money then you can buy something precious or you can buy anything for yourself yes so in that case money can help you or money can make you happy or yes or money can't buy anyone's life yes money uh, this kind of uh, that is the the most thing that i uh, like what can i say i am not uh, i am not i can't make anyone alive from death so there's a thing i think that uh, money can't do this otherwise money can do everything yeah yeah like if time has gone if someone has gone you cannot bring it back right so uh, thank you so much indrajit we are at around the end of our session and uh, okay. goodbye thank you so much thank you